In this video, I'm going to be looking at problems from the homework in Cutnell and Johnson, problems 18 and 19. So first, take a look at number 18. We have the sprinter has a certain acceleration sustained for 1.2 seconds, and then the acceleration drops to zero. So the first part, s of the velocity at the end of the acceleration phase of the motion, and I don't think anyone's going to have any trouble using vf equals v0 plus at to find that final speed. Of course, uh, the initial velocity is zero because, you know, if the sprinter didn't start from zero, then that's not really a fair race. I think some students might be getting a little bit confused with part B. Part B says the acceleration drops to zero for the second part of the race, right? So the runner speeds up and then maintains a constant speed, a zero acceleration. So here is the first time really we're looking at two different accelerations in the same problem. And I did give you a little bit of a warning about that. Remember, the equations for kinematics are only okay for a constant acceleration. And certainly in part A, in the first 1.2 seconds, there is a constant acceleration. But in part B, there is a different constant acceleration. So if you look at the notes page with the big five kinematics equations, it talks about stages of motion. That's what we have here. We have the first stage of motion where the sprinter is accelerating, speeding up. And the second stage of motion where the sprinter is not speeding up. We're still okay in using Vf equals V0 plus AT in this second stage of motion. We just have to use the appropriate acceleration, in this case, zero. I think you should be able to prove to yourself that if we do that, that Vf equals V0, the acceleration is zero. But the question is, what's V0? Well, here's where you have to get out of just looking at equations and think about what's actually happening, right? The first stage of motion with sprinter speeding up leads into the second stage of motion. So you really need to be thinking about the fact that the final speed in part A becomes the initial speed in part B, right? One stage leads directly into the next, and then I think it'll be just fine. Problem 19 is just a matter of reading. So I, I imagine for a lot of you, for letters C and D, when you did the calculations, you got negative 6.0 meters per second and negative 18 meters per second. And then you're confused why when you look at the answer key, you're not getting the same answer. Well, here you just really have to read the problem a little more carefully. In fact, there's a word that's actually italicized in the question. I think you should read that a little more carefully and think about the difference between that word and another word that's quite associated with it, you'll realize where you're going wrong. You're not even going wrong. You just have to make sure you're actually answering the question being asked.